Um, so over the years, Lincolnshire has produced a great many things to be proud of. Um, Skegness Fish and Chips and Butlins, family holidays. Uh, loads of people have fond memories of uh, going to Butlins, Fish and Chips at night. Uh, things that you can't beat. Um, fantastic music, local bands. Um, one, for example, would be my nephew's band, in Int, uh, the Alter Egos. Um, the fruit and veg that most of us eat, uh, Lincolnshire pork sausages, can't beat them. Um, and on top of that, also some very, very, very fine ass beer. So, um, as many of you know, I recently be visited the Batemans Brewery. Um, and while I was there, I picked up some beers to try. So, I'm not going to go through all of these beers that I've got in here. I'm just going to show the one that I'm going to be trying today, which I bet I can't get it out. Come on, you There we go. So, uh, today, I'm going to be reviewing the Dark Lord. Um, so, this is Dark Lord, it's described as a dark ruby beer, um, which uh, anyone that watches the videos will know, I'm quite into my uh, Hobgoblin, which is also like a, a ruby beer. So, I'm thinking this is possibly going to be something fairly similar to that, to be honest. Uh, so, hence, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to trying this one. I haven't tried it at the brewery either, so I've no idea what's coming. Um, the Dark Lord was brewed to commemorate Black Tom, who fought in the English Civil War at the Battle of Wickenby, Lincolnshire. It's rich and spicy and goes well with cheese and red meat. Uh, well, unfortunately, I'm not having cheese and I'm not having uh, red meat, but... There you go. Um, it's a gold medal winner at the world's 50 best beers international beer competition. So yeah, should be a really good one. Um, Batemans are great family brewers who have been brewing beer in their windmill on the beautiful bank of the River Steeping in Lincolnshire since 1874. Visit the fantastic Victorian brew house, sit out by the river, enjoy the food and beer, play the old pub games, Discover the 4,500 bottle beer collection and investigate the fascinating exhibits. Fun for all the family. Well, I have been to the brewery. The, visits, uh, the video of the visit is up and uh, it is a very welcoming, fantastic day. Um, they even do weekends, which I didn't realise at the time. Um, so guys, if you get you know if you get the opportunity, if you're on holiday, you're in Skeg, you get the chance to visit, I highly recommend that you that you do that. Um, what else does it say? Uh, not an awful lot. It's 5% volume and uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much the best I can say for it at the moment. So let's pop this top, let's stop jabbering on and let's see what we're dealing with. So since I am brewing Oh, fantastic kiss. But then again, it, it's uh, commercially produced beer, so it's bound to be. Oh, lovely hop aroma coming off the top of that. So it's a Bateman's beer. It's going in a Bateman's glass, the way it should be. Let's give this beauty a pour. Lovely, lovely carbonation. Again, um, for a commercially supplied beer, I'm not all that surprised. Not a fantastic head, um, half a finger, half a little finger, or yeah, um, that doesn't bother me. Very dark in colour, um, it's obviously clear, like I said, this is a commercially brewed beer, but you can't see much through it simply because it is so dark. Uh, aromas. There is a hoppy aroma coming off of that, but um, actually now that it's in the glass, I would say more the dark malts. Hmm, 
the head um, has completely vanished. That's before I've even started drinking it. But you see some bubbles coming to the top, and I can't wait any longer. Let's dive in. Oh, that's, that's good. Um, instantly, uh, the first thing I'm noticing on the whole of my tongue is the dark bitterness flavour. It's um, it's got that. It, it, well, I mean, ale, an ale taste really is an ale taste, but it's a very strong, um, very nice, not unpleasant at all. Deep dark ale flavour. Um, 50 50 actually in the taste, although there's definitely the hops coming through, um, second of all, with some bitterness. Um, but also, you, you can taste very strongly the dark malts. Um, I'm not very good at, at picking out the malts, but I would say that is a roasted dark malt. I'll probably sound like a right prat trying to describe it. Um, maybe a little bit of chocolatey malts, but if there is any chocolatey malts, it's, it's not an awful lot. But it does seem to have a, a chocolatey flavour, so I don't know. Oh, pardon me, lads and ladies, if you're out there. That is a very nice beer. Um, is it a sessionable beer? To be honest, yes it is, um, but it would creep up on you very quickly. 5% isn't the strongest uh, beer in the world, but it's it's not the weakest one either. Um, I think three of these and you'll start feeling the alcohol. Oh god, pardon me, very well carbonated. Very, very well carbonated. Mm. going back in and that flavour just doesn't give every time you take a swig fresh burst of, of the, the grains the bit the grainy flavour the the hops the bitterness it's it's, it's all there Um, maybe not too, it, it, it's not a nuki brown ale, but there are similarities to some of the, the, some of the flavours that you get from the Newcastle brown ale. Um, I would possibly say this one is just a little bit more deeper with the flavour, just a little bit more stronger. It's a very nice beer, I could rattle on for... Uh, days um, saying the same thing over and over again none of you want to see that so guys um, I'm gonna go and enjoy the rest of this in peace and I am gonna enjoy it oh. that's the Dark Lord from the Batemans Brewery in Waynefleet near Skegness go check them out guys and thank you for watching cheers